Today we are going to be taking a look at both the pros and cons for the Oculus Rift S and Oculus Quest 2. Now right off the bat is your first impression of the box. I personally like the Quest 2 box, it's sleek and slim. The Rift S box is a little bigger. I mean it's, it's personal preference and it doesn't really make a difference on the performance of the system itself. Now with the Quest 2 you have this link cable which is $80 by the way. Uh, this allows you to connect your Quest 2 to the computer and play your Steam VR games. Inside the box of the Quest 2, you have the headset and the left and right controller with your instructions and a glasses spacer. Inside the Rift S box, you have the headset, your 15 or 16 meter cord, I don't know the exact length, your left and right controller, a little box with instructions, and it also come with batteries both of them do for the controllers. Looking at them outside of the box you can see that the Rift S is slightly bigger than the Quest 2 so the Quest 2 is more compact and easier to take with you which the Quest 2 is wireless. Uh, you do not need to have the link cable but if you want to be able to play your Steam VR games then you're going to need the link cable. Otherwise I would say stick with the Rift S. Uh, on the back of the Rift S, you can see here is the Halo headband that they have with the adjustable wheel. And on the back of the Quest 2, they just have the standard uh, soft strap, which I don't personally like. I like the adjustable wheel. And looking on Oculus.com, you can see the differences between both of the headsets. Uh, the price of the Oculus Quest 2 is less than the Rift S. Of course, it says out of stock for the Rift S, but... Uh, the Rift S is normally $400, and the Quest 2, if you get the 64 gigabyte version like I did, that one is $299, and if you get the cable, then it'll be a total of like $383 or so, with tax added on. So the difference of the resolution in both of the system, the Quest 2 has a 1832 by 1920 resolution per eye, and it also has a 60, 72, and 90 hertz refresh rate supported. A fast switch LCD display. And they're both the Rift S and Quest 2 are glasses compatible. So if you wear glasses, they will fit your glasses for you. The Rift S has a 2560 by 1440 resolution. A standard LCD display. Uh, 80 hertz refresh rate. So let's go over a few pros and cons of both systems. So let's start with the Rift S. Uh, the Pro, if you own a computer, it's really easy and simple to set up. All you got to do is download the Oculus software on your computer and go through the setup process and you're, you're ready to go. Uh, with the Rift S, you can play your Steam VR games very easily. You just download Steam VR on Steam and then you can play all your VR games that you own in your library. And then it's also just as easy to play the regular Oculus Store games. But here's where the cons come in. So for the con is it is a little lower resolution compared to the Quest. But if you were looking to upgrade, I would suggest not to. Because in the Quest, this is a con of the Quest, using the link cable, you can still play your Steam VR games. But... It is at the Rift resolution, which you can noticeably tell when you switch to the Link mode. In just the standard Quest 2 home screen, from what I've seen, it is slightly higher quality and a little faster for you. Now, here's another thing. If you are looking to upgrade to the Quest 2 from a Rift S, go through your games list on, Oculus, on your Oculus Rift store and see which ones are cross buyable. I own personally six games on my Oculus Store and I was only able to cross buy one of them which was Population 1. If you own Beat Saber and you were looking to play that wirelessly on the go with your Quest 2, that is not cross buyable. You will have to buy the game again. So for any of you that don't know, cross buy means that any games that you've purchased in the Rift Oculus Store can be transferred over to your Quest Oculus Store. You can just hit hit buy and it'll say free next to the, the game that you own. But for Beat Saber, that is not cross-buyable, only because the developer of Beat Saber made it not 
Cross viable, which was a very stupid business move on their part. So that means if you want to play Beat Saber at slightly higher quality and on the go, you're going to shell out you're going to need to shell out another $30 for Beat Saber. Now, the pros of the Oculus Quest 2 is obviously it's wireless, so you have mobility and you're not tethered to a cord unless you're linked, of course. Higher quality, faster refresh rate. It is very lightweight. I mean, you still feel it on your head, but it's lighter than the Rift S. Uh, pro, uh, cons of the Quest 2 are the standard head strap. Of course, you can purchase you can purchase the Elite head strap for the Quest 2, but it's $50. And also, there is a carrying case for the Quest 2, but that is also $50. So you'll be shelling out over well over $400 depending on which, which version of the quest you get. Uh, another con of it is the battery seems to drain kind of fast. So it might last you maybe four or five, hour, four or five hours, depending on you know how long you play. I haven't actually played that long, so I don't have a definitive, a definitive answer. All in all, overall, overall, my opinion is, if you're looking to upgrade from the Oculus Rift S to the Oculus Quest 2, I would highly, highly suggest that you just stick with the Rift S due to the cross-buy issue. Just basically, the Oculus Link from the Quest 2 is literally the same quality as the Rift S, from what I can tell. Um... But if you're looking to get into VR, I would highly recommend getting the Quest 2. It is higher quality and it's wireless. And if you don't have much space in your computer setup or you don't have a computer, the Quest 2 will work great for you. All in all, at the end of the day, it's your opinion. It's what you want. But this is what I recommend. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.